Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Center. So let's talk Wilkes University Wrestling. They continue to do some great things. They have some great wrestlers and a great guy here in Pank Keel, Chander, 141 pounds. Well, uh, Pank Keel, you just won the uh, the Wilkes Open. Uh, how did that feel for you? Some great competition. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, it was, it was a good feeling to win. Uh, you know, the depth of that tournament kind of went down the last two years, but, uh, but you know, Coach always says I always wrestled good at that tournament, and, and uh, you know, it's been all true, so... Um, you know, I just got to make sure I keep keep performing well as the season goes on. Talk about the competition level. I mean, guys, Division One up and down the East Coast. You have guys that are, you know, wrestling that are a little bit older. You got Wilkes guys going against Wilkes guys to open things up. I mean, uh, there really is just a lot of talent, and you uh, survive the the tournament. You survived and won it. Right. Um, well, you know, Coach Coach uh, Lonsley was here when when Wilkes was a Division One program, and he's been through the training. Uh, regiment of a Division One program, and and uh, you know he tells us all the time there's not really much of a difference that that uh, that they're running here works now than when it was Division One. So um, you know there's there's really nothing different. I think that uh, it's all what you what you put in your own mind and how you perceive those Division One guys. Um, you know, but other than that, they put on pants the same way you do. So uh, you know, you just got to go out there and wrestle. Pekio, let's talk a little bit about uh, Wilkes University and, and what you're studying and why you chose Wilkes. Well, uh, coming out of high school, I uh, kind of just wanted to get away. Um, you know, Wilkes was a uh, Wilkes Bear area. I'm from Long Island, so uh, it was it was far enough away from home where I could kind of be independent and close enough where I could go home whenever I wanted. Um, and the business school at Wilkes is awesome. I'm a sports manager major there now, and. Uh, you know, so far it's it's been a great decision, and and everything that I've done, uh, you know, it's just helped me grow as a person. So uh, overall, it's been a great experience. And for you, the guys in the room, and everybody going through the same thing, as you say, you're a junior now, but they're going through the studies and the the adaptation of leaving home and, and all that stuff. But uh, I know Coach Lodgeslager and his staff they do a great job of making sure you guys are kind of on point and doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah, you know, coming in, um, you know, that transition from high school to college, uh, as a college freshman is always tough, but, you know, the coach does, does a good job with the study all hours. Um, you know, the upperclassmen are always guiding, guiding you in the right direction. Um, so, you know, it's a little bit of a different different feel for me now because my role has kind of changed being upperclassmen on the team now and trying to help out some of the younger guys. But, uh, you know, it's just kind of the cycle that that uh, that it is. So, um you know, you just got to take care of take care of your your stuff and 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 make sure you you keep your priorities in order. How about the adjustment, Pan Keel, from high school to college, as far as uh, the regimen with wrestling? What are some things you learned, or some some different things that you've gone through? Because it, and talking to Coach Lonslager, always seems to be injuries, some sicknesses, and then of course you're managing, um, you know, the studies, and of course the wrestling and the workouts, and making sure you're making weight. There's it's a lot of pressure. Uh, but when you do everything the way you're supposed to do, you get great results like you have. Right. I mean, I think one thing I've learned about um, college wrestling as compared to high school, well, uh, coming from my high school, I didn't really have – it wasn't really part of a powerhouse program like here at Wilkes, so uh, the schedule wasn't, you know, as deep. We didn't have hard competition every week. Uh, but now wrestling for Wilkes University, you know, we have uh, tough competition every weekend, every week, so – um, one thing is that you can't ever you can't ever go out there flat footed. You can't ever go out there thinking that uh, you know some guy's going to lay down for you because you know all these kids are the best in their high school too, just like I was. So um, you know you got to come out ready to wrestle, or or you're going to get beat on any given day. So uh, I think that's one big big thing, and and also knowing that every week there's going to be something wrong. Nothing is ever going to be be perfect, whether it's you're dealing with a bad bad grade, you got a lot of homework, or you got an injury, or you know your weight's not under control. There's always going to be something, so you kind of just got to deal with that uh, and, and and roll with the punches. Tell me uh, something you pride yourself on uh, when you're out there on the mat or you're in the wrestling room. Is it you know you feel like you have a big heart when you wrestle? You feel like your endurance is better than anybody. You feel like you're going to outwork them. You have great technique. What are what are some things that kind of you hone in on and say, hey, I'm the best at that. Um, I think I try to just, uh, 
still like keep going mentality and try not to um, get phased by anything. Um, sometimes guys will get, get you know real flustered after giving up a takedown or, or or giving up some bad points or something like that. And um, I think the the most important thing is to just you know have a short memory when you're out there and just and just keep wrestling. You got to keep scoring points because um, you know some people don't know how to deal with with uh, with failure, so you got to be able to you know deal with those setbacks and and uh, respond to them pretty well. So. Nothing like that strong mindset in the the mind of a wrestler to be out there and be as even keel as you could. Pink Keel, you talk about your team. Uh, you guys are going to be getting into the season here in January, and, and things will keep heating up. You guys have continued that national ranking. Um, what are your goals as a team this year? Um, you know, this year as a team, uh, last few years, it, it, it's, it's always a different feel. Uh, we're a little bit younger this year, but... Um, you know, we're growing as a team, and, and we're really growing as a team. Now. I think that, uh, you know, coming in, um, you know, always that first couple of weeks of the season, uh, you kind of, not necessarily weeding guys out, but you kind of still figuring out the, the vibe of the team. And, and now I think we kind of got it figured out. So, um, you know, I think we're ready to do some damage at national duels. Um, you know, but, but like I said, everyone's got to uh, perform well. Everyone's got to, you know, be at their best and, and and I have everything else under the mat off control like their weight and, and their sleep. So um but I think we'll be all right. We we, we have fun in the room and, and uh we work hard, so Nice having a national champion coming back on your team and, and having a partner. I'm sure he's around your weight that you guys could kinda of go against each other and, and that guy works pretty darn hard too. Yeah, definitely. I mean Matt is uh is is a great wrestler and and uh you know there's no there's no, uh, there's no way everyone in the room is gonna be able to wrestle with him all the time. But you know, I think he does a good job too of, of trying to diversify his his uh, workout partners and trying to go with everyone because I think he knows at the back of his head too that um, you know that although he's getting better, he's got to you know make everyone else better because he's a leader now. So um, you know, but yeah, he's a great workout partner and. And the good thing about Matt winning a national title is that, uh, you know, it hadn't been done in a while. So, you know, the fact that he did it, it gives guys, you know, the inspiration that, you know, if he could do it, you know, we could do it too. So um, it's just a good, uh, good contagious uh, mindset and atmosphere. Absolutely. And uh, you guys uh, are, are all working hard and hoping to have a great season continued for the Colonels. Well, uh, it was great talking to you and catching up with you. We wish you the best of luck, of course, uh, in your junior year and, and looking forward to another year of seeing what you can do. I'm sure you're looking forward to that Wilkes Open again uh, in 2016. But uh, welcome into 2016, Pan Keel, and uh, the best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Appreciate it. Pankeel Chander, he is a junior, 141 pounds for the Wilkes University wrestling team here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.